Hey guys, this is Ratika. Welcome back to Beautiful. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my product empties and I have like a duffel of them. Like I have so many products that I got done with recently. So let's quickly get started. I'm also going to tell you guys which products I may purchase like repurchase or the products I've already repurchased and some products that I would never repurchase. So let's get started. But before going, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so that you guys get notified every single time I upload a video. Now let's get started. So I'm gonna go in like a particular order. So first I'm gonna start with bath products and we'll go into makeup and then into skincare. This product is the Bath and Body Works A Thousand Wishes Shea and Vitamins Shower Gel. I got a gift from a friend of mine. Oh my god, this is such a beautiful shower gel. I love it and I'm definitely gonna repurchase this but I'm not sure whether I'll get the same variant. I think there's a different variant of this but it smells so good. It has a sweet scent to it but it's not that overpowering like once you apply it, it is strong but as you get out of the shower the smell of it like, mellows down a little bit and I love it. So uh, the key notes in this is Pink Prosecco Sparkling Quincy Crystal Peonies, Gilded Amber, and Amaretto Creme. So these are the uh, keynotes, but apart from the keynotes, I don't know any of them for a matter of fact, but it is such a beautiful scent and I'm definitely repurchasing this. <sighs> Love it. So next I have this. This is the Vela Nutricles Waves Shampoo and Conditioner. Now I bought this very recently and i got done with it because i had no other shampoo to use in this quarantine and this was the only shampoo that i had with me and i have like it's a good shampoo it's not like a very great shampoo i like it but i don't think i will repurchase the shampoo or the conditioner the conditioner for some reason i felt like it doesn't it didn't condition my hair that well so I don't think I will repurchase this. I have curly hair. This was spe specifically for waves and curls. It smells okay. It cleanses very well, but still, you know, I didn't enjoy it that much. I didn't feel like it cleaned my hair that well for some reason and nor did it condition that well. So, uh, I would give it like a 5 out of 10. So, yeah. It goes in my no purchase list. The next shampoo and conditioner that I have is the Herbal Essence Bio Renew. This is the lightweight shine cucumber and green tea shampoo and this is the uh, clean white strawberry and sweet mint conditioner. Now let me talk about the conditioner firstly. Love the conditioner. Absolutely love it. For the price point you get so much firstly. It's a very uh, good quality conditioner and has this very sweet strawberry kind of fragrance that I love it you know let me see if I can still smell it oh yeah it has a bubblegum strawberry fragrance to it I love this conditioner I just just because of the smell and also it does condition pretty damn well that's the reason I like it I did repurchase this already it's on its way and I also repurchased the strawberry white strawberry and sweet mint shampoo i have used that one as well before and i got over with it and then i tried out the lightweight shine cucumber and green tea one i like the strawberry one better because i felt like it suited and cleaned my scalp better than this one but this one is also actually pretty damn good uh, and i feel like for the price point the herbal essence shampoos and conditioners are really really good i have tried even the moroccan oil uh shampoo by herbal essence but i don't like that one i feel like it's too strong for my hair and i end up getting dandruff and you know dry scalp and all of that but the cucumber one and the strawberry one the strawberry one is my top favorite which I've already repurchased like I said and this is my second favorite so if you're looking for a like good shampoo and conditioner definitely definitely purchase those because it's beautiful even the scent of all the shampoo and conditioners 
a bomb. I absolutely love hair products which have scent to it because it just makes me feel like I'm in a spa or a vacation of that sort. Okay, the next thing that I have is this hair mask by Vela. This is the System Professional Lux Oil Keratin Restore Mask. It's completely over and I am definitely gonna repurchase this because it's such a beautiful hair mask. It legit makes my hair like silky, soft, shiny, smooth and the best part, it smells so good. Again, it has a sweet smell but it has a very sophisticated, sweet, luxurious smell to it. You will feel like you're using a beautiful product on your hair. I love it. I love this mask. Whenever I am feeling like, you know, I want to have a bath and refresh myself with a very sensuous mood, I think this is the hair mask that I use because it just smells so amazing and the smell remains in the hair the entire time till the next wash and it legit is a really, really good hair mask. If y'all are looking for like frizzy hair, dry hair and you have the split ends and all of that like I did trust me this is gonna do wonders and it has amazing reviews as well on Nykaa that is the reason I purchased this and I love to read okay then I have this the face shop Jeju Volcanic Lava Pore Scrub Foam this is what it looks like I lost the gun of it because I removed it and then I put it somewhere then I don't know but this is again a beautiful like face wash it legit cleans my skin really well it has small little exfoliating particles which get rid of my dead skin cells and my entire face after the face wash becomes like super super smooth and squeaky clean but it does not strip my oils that is another thing that I look in a face wash I don't want my face to look super duper or feel like super duper dry and like crunched up this does not do that that's the reason i love this face wash i didn't purchase uh didn't repurchase this one i repurchased the face shop white seed uh scrub foam i think that's what it's called and i had already finished that one before and then i moved ahead to this one and i love the white seed one i love the jeju one as well if I get the chance I will definitely repurchase this I will definitely give it like a 9 out of 10 for a face wash and the white seal one I will give it like a 10 out of 10 because that one is a little bit better than this one the only I think the difference between the two is that the particles the exfoliating particles in this one are a little bit bigger than the white seed one so that's the reason i prefer the white seed one but it's not like a major difference you can buy any of the two both are equally good i don't know i am a big fan of face scrub so i have another empty face scrub that is this is the organic harvest exfoliating face scrub i have finished this and i've already repurchased this and half of it is already done me and my mom loved this face scrub now i'll tell you the texture is very moosy and has like small little particles i think it has camphor in it i'm not really sure but um i mean the ingredients are not written on this but i'm pretty sure it has camphor and the particles are very very uh gentle on the skin so i always make sure that my face scrubs have gentle exfoliating particles otherwise they can end up you know, scratching my skin i have a little bit of a sensitive skin so like it might you know end up giving me scratches so i'll be very careful when i'm buying face scrubs i'm very choosy with them this one is absolutely amazing it gets rid of my dead skin cells my white heads as well and then i get this very smooth canvas on which i can apply makeup and it applies beautifully like very flawlessly not even streaky so smooth you will see a huge difference so definitely recommend this one okay now let's start with the makeup products i have a lot of makeup products so i'm gonna start with primer now i have this nyx total control drug primer i have just a little bit left this is my second bottle by the way uh so i used to love this primer i like this primer now but i'm not you know sold on this primer anymore because uh, i have found better primers than this one so i don't think i'm gonna repurchase it but it's still a very good primer i have recommended this primer to a lot of you guys a lot of my friends and they actually like it i also like it it's just that 
I prefer my other primers over this one now because they do a better job of covering my pores and making my skin look like feel and uh, look really really flawless and smooth and on top of that the foundation applies really really smoothly on with the other primers but this one doesn't do as great a job as the other ones that I've found okay. and then the foundation this is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation I have gone through bottles of these like minimum three bottles and this is I think the fourth bottle which is again almost over and I'm in the shade classic tan by the way in case you're wondering it's a beautiful foundation it's full coverage like it's medium to full coverage so if you're looking for like a medium skin like finish this will definitely give you that if you want like a full coverage you can go in with a couple of drops more to cover up your entire face and this is a very good foundation for oily skin specifically because it does not budge it is a very very long wearing foundation very easy to apply and very skin like looking it has a very soft matte finish and it really really looks really good on oily skin so yeah am i gonna repurchase this yeah maybe but once i get rid of all the other foundations that i have i have a lot of foundations still left with me so i feel like if i splurge more on another foundation i won't ever get done with the foundations that i've that I have so would I repurchase this yes am I repurchasing it right now no but I will definitely give it like a 8 out of 10 that's how good this foundation is okay now let's talk about concealers so many concealers that I'm done with let's start with the basic one the LA gold pro conceal in the shade pure beige Oh, uh, this is just one tube, but I have definitely gone through like five, six, seven. I don't know how many I've been using this concealer since so long. It's such a beautiful concealer. So yeah, definitely got done with this. Will I repurchase it? Definitely. I would definitely give it like a nine out of ten in concealers. Okay, the other two concealers are the Maybelline Fit Me concealers. One is in the shade Sand and the other one is in the shade Medium. The Sand one I used to use earlier which is over to brighten under my eyes but I feel like it's too light so it can look a little bit harsh. So I'm not gonna purchase this particular shade Sand, repurchase this particular shade but I'm definitely gonna repurchase the Medium shade. Now this is again a lighter shade but it's still pretty close to my skin tone so it gives me that very naturally highlighted look and it's a very thin concealer but has good amount of coverage it has like medium coverage so I like it to highlight so yeah I am gonna give this a 8 out of 10 just because it doesn't have that full coverage if it would have had the fuller coverage I think it would be like on top because the formula is very good it's very skin like and very hydrating and very easy to blend so the next two concealers that i have are from wet and wild uh yeah i know i have a lot of concealers on a regular basis i uh, skip foundation and i just apply concealer that's the reason i go like my concealers get over so fast now the wet and wild one so i have it in the shade light medium beige and the other one is medium tawny now the first time i purchased i purchased the light medium shade but it's a little too light for me so like i finished it obviously but i use this to like highlight i like stopped using it because it was not really exactly my shade so it was looking a little bit off but the shade medium tawny is such a beautiful shade it's very close to my skin tone and the formula on the wet and wild concealers is also really really good like it is the LA gold kind of formula but it's just a hint thicker but the coverage is very similar to the LA gold one I love this concealer I will definitely definitely in fact I've already repurchased this concealer it's there in one of my travel kits so yeah i definitely like to travel with this concealer and the LA Gold one because it's like very small to do and just fits anywhere i would give this a 7.8 just because i don't like the applicator i like the LA Gold applicator a little bit better than the uh, doe foot applicator because i feel like this is more hygienic than 
removing it, applying it, and then putting it again inside. So, the next concealer that I have is the Tarte Shape Tape, or oh, this is in the shade medium. I purchased this a really long time back, like really, really long, and I got done with it like pretty recently. Uh, now, the it's not that I don't like this concealer. I like this concealer, but the I use very very tiny amount of it. It is full coverage, but it is a little bit drying, so that's the reason I don't really like it that much. But I did repurchase this because I wanted to have it in my collection when I want like very minimum amount of makeup with a lot of coverage. It is thick, okay, you guys. You will feel it on your skin, but it does not budge. It does not make you oily. It makes your uh, face i mean it covers so well but it can look a little bit drying so i'm gonna try and figure out how i can use this maybe i'll mix in my moisturizer and then use this concealer uh i would give it like a 6.5 out of 10 just because it doesn't look very natural and for me all the makeup products have to look natural otherwise they don't get the tick from me I cannot bear the heavy looking products now I have two setting powders that I got done with first one is the Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder in the shade light medium I have already repurchased this this gets like a 9.5 out of 10 from me because it's so good it's very light it's very good for baking for setting for everything this powder is actually really really good and affordable too so this is like the top affordable powder that you will get like loose finishing powder in the market so yeah the next one that i have is the milani's a translucent banana powder i absolutely love this to bake like under my eyes when i want a little bit of brightness very natural brightness i love to bake with this powder um, and i did already repurchase this one as well like once i stick to setting powders i'm not gonna move uh, to any other setting powders because that's what makes my makeup look really really good because if the setting powder is heavy or is cakey looking or does not suit my skin my entire makeup will break down so this is like the foundation even if it's not the foundation it's like gets all the makeup together and you know makes it look really flawless so i will give this an 8 out of 10 just because i can't use this to set the entire face because it can be a little bit you know it can leave like a white cast that's why i don't like using this setting powder to set my entire face but particularly for baking i love it it's very finely milled both these powders are like very finely milled it makes my skin like super duper blurry and poreless and all of that good stuff Okay, the next thing that I have is an eyebrow product. Now, this is the Nykaa's, Nykaa's, Nykaa's Wow My Brow Eyebrow Palette. Now, I didn't finish these two because I don't use these two, but I did finish this particular one uh, shade right here. So, I use that particular eyeshadow or shade to fill in my brows every single day. Like, for natural looking everyday brows, I love to use this and i travel with this as well so since it's so compact i can just put it in my purse so would i repurchase this definitely because the powder is the perfect formula to you know fill in my uh, eyebrows it's not too uh, pigmented it's not less pigmented it's exactly the right amount to give me that you know uh eyebrow hair kind of look Okay, next I have mascaras. I have definitely gone through a lot of mascaras, but the recent ones that I finished was this one. Firstly, this is the uh, Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. A beautiful mascara. I repurchased it already. I have two backups of this already. I will give it a 10 out of 10. Beautiful mascara. It's super duper black. It gives you so much volume and it does not flake. That's why I gave it a 10 out of 10 because it does not flake. I hate flaky mascaras and this is waterproof. So I personally prefer waterproof mascaras because I have oily skin. So it can tend to get you know messy and I have a little bit of a watery eyes kind of situation as well. So I like waterproof mascaras and this one is amazing. If you are looking for a good mascara, look nowhere because this is a beautiful mascara. 
cannot recommend this enough. Okay, the second mascara that I got done with is the Maybelline's Total Temptation Waterproof Mascara. Again, such a beautiful mascara. This gives me that pokey lashes, but really a lot of volume. This is, this is the mascara that I'm wearing on my eyes right now because I already repurchased it. Uh, I love it. It does not flake like some Maybelline mascaras do flake, but this one does not, and it gives me so much volume and like sharp looking lashes that's what i love about this mascara if you like sharp long and lengthy lashes you will love this so yeah i'm gonna give it like a 9 out of 10 definitely a 9 out of 10 mascara <sighs> okay i have one more mascara that i want to talk about i have not finished it but i don't think i'm gonna finish it as well because i'm never gonna repurchase this also this is the Flower Beauty Lash Warrior Mascara. Oh my god. I I mean, I did purchase this because of the amazing reviews that it had. Uh, but the way it applies mascara on my lashes, it applies very clumpily for some reason. And I don't like the wand on it. The wand is a very plastic wand. I like the wand to have like hair bristles so that, you know, it's softer when I apply mascara. Like these two that i recommend they have hair like or uh, hair hair brush bristles so uh it's softer on the eyes but this one always ends up poking me and also it does not give me that kind of effect that i'm looking for and it turns a little bit clumpy so that's the reason i don't like it so i'm never gonna repurchase this another mascara that i've stopped using and maybe i will discard it i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do about it but this is a l'oreal x car mascara okay let me collect my thoughts on this one okay now this mascara does give me a lot of volume a lot of a lot of length and all of that good stuff like it does the job but it does not last like it just turns like my lashes become so soft and you know clumpy and also even if a little bit of water touches this mascara i start leaking like i start getting that black marks on my skin and it just ends up becoming a mess and it just comes out so easily since it's not waterproof as well but you know some mascaras which are not waterproof like the one which i have from essence that does not do that for some reason but this one does so it's like a very flimsy mascara for me not gonna repurchase this it's gonna get like a three not even three i think two out of ten because i don't like it okay i have got gone through a lot of lipsticks by the way uh let's start with the obvious this is the smashbox always on liquid lipstick in the shade stepping out you guys know how much i love this i have finished it i have repurchased it i already have like two three backups sitting here and there in my bag and on my counter and all of that such a beautiful lipstick definitely a 10 out of 10 formula is good very pigmented very comfortable all of the good stuff one of the best lipsticks out there like liquid lipsticks the next lipsticks i have are from nyx i love nyx for lips i'm wearing one right now this is the uh, nyx lip lingerie in the shade uh seduction but i have the shade cabaret show this is a beautiful shade i got done with it i have been using the shade for such a long time like it's been two years now but the shade is really beautiful like a mauvey pinky deeper nude shade i love the shade and i'm definitely gonna repurchase this the formula is also pretty good it's not uh, out like at par with the smashbox one but it's pretty close it's pretty comfortable it's very thin a thin formula it's not a thick formula so that's what i like uh eight out of ten definitely repurchasing this very very soon the other one is the nyx soft matte lip cream in the shade leon this is like beautiful warm peachy kind of shade i think it's peachy and has like very beautiful pinky warm undertones to it look at that this is one of the shades that i love wearing when i want to look really fresh you know um, and yeah you guys know the soft matte lip creams their formulas are bang on like very very soft on the lips 
very comfortable and they are pigmented but not like very pigmented it has like a mousse formula so you know you can go ahead and apply like a sheer layer and just give a wash of color to your lips or you can build it up and give that fully pigmented lip color love the next lip lingerie and especially the shade neon i have already repurchased this one i already have a backup i would give it a 8.5 out of 10 because it's really really comfortable on the lips okay next i have the mega last liquid cat suit matte lipstick by wet n wild this is in the shade give me mocha another shade that i absolutely love i have already repurchased it it's a it has a very beautiful formula it's pigmented comfortable it is a little bit thicker than the rest of them that i just showed you but it's still a very very comfortable formula and especially the shade give me mocha is like to die for look at that another lipstick i think i would give this an 8 out of 10 because i love the formula on this and i love the color i haven't found a similar color to this one yet in any of the lipstick uh ranges that i have and i have a lot of lipsticks like nothing matches this particular shade such a unique shade okay next i have this one this is the color pops liquid lipstick in the shade bumble i will not repurchase this just because the formula is pretty drying but i love the shade i still haven't found the exact shade like a dupe for this shade it's a beautiful shade it's like that barbie pink deeper barbie pink shade and i usually don't like that barbie pink shade but this one actually suits me pretty damn well so i want the same shade if you guys know any recommendations like a bang on you for the shade bumble let me know because i love the shade but i hate the formula because it's so drying and cracky and all of that so mm -mm. okay lastly now for makeup i have two setting sprays that are almost over this one is almost this is the over this is a milani's make it last setting spray an amazing setting spray this is like bang on you for the max fix plus exact same formula has a beautiful scent it's just that i don't like the sprayer of it i feel like the sprayer is not so precise and it's, it's not a good quality sprayer but the actual uh product inside it is actually very good it melts the powders and, and you know makes my entire makeup look like very seamless and my makeup also lasts for a very long time so if you're looking for an affordable setting spray it's not that affordable it's above 1000 so i don't count it like in the affordable range but it's Really, really good. Okay, uh, I would give it like a eight point five out of ten. Okay, and the other one is the Smashbox Primer Water. I love this. I cannot do without this. I already have backups of this, and yeah, I do have a backup of this as well. By the way, just so that you guys know that I have already repurchased that. Uh, the Smashbox one is just something that. I cannot do without. I have backups of this. I have two, three backups of this. I will give it a ten out of ten. It does a good job of hydrating my skin, melting all the powders, making my makeup last a very long time. And I can also go ahead and apply this even when I am in the middle of doing makeup and I feel like my makeup is looking a little bit crusty. I'll just apply it and uh, refresh everything. So it's an all rounder, like for primer, for setting. Okay, next I have the Bioderma's uh Sibium H2O solution micellar water. I love this. I use this to remove my waterproof makeup. There's still some remaining. I don't like the pink one, the original Bioderma because it does not get rid of my uh waterproof makeup. This one does get rid of my waterproof makeup. I will give this like a 9 out of 10 because it gets rid of all of my makeup without you know my skin feeling super dry or you know felt like i have literally scrubbed my skin so this is really really good and affordable too i'm going to go ahead and buy the bigger bottle of this so, uh, the next makeup remover that i use pretty regularly is this garnier's micellar water this is the oil infused one like i said i apply waterproof makeup that's why i go ahead and you know take the waterproof version of all of the uh, makeup removers this is really good gets rid of my makeup very easily very fast like 
very fast that's the best part about this that it gets rid of my makeup pretty fast that's why i like this again i'm gonna repurchase the bigger bottle of this because i like it so much and yeah it does not strip like because it has oil in it so it does not like strip my skin with the natural oils and you know it keeps my skin pretty hydrated and i don't break out from these like makeup removers there are so many makeup removers that i've tried and they legit make me like break out so that's one thing that i'm very picky about when i am purchasing makeup removers okay now finally some skincare products let's start with the first one that i have now let me tell you i'm a big fan of the face shop skincare so most of the products are from the face shop because that's the only like those are the only products that i use on a regular basis and suit my skin really well uh so the first one is this one this is the beliefs the two true cream aqua bomb oh bomb moisturizer such a beautiful moisturizer i traveled with this when i was traveling before quarantine of course and i loved it and i finished it and i'm definitely gonna repurchase this this gets a 10 out of 10 because it's lightweight it suits my oily skin and it just hydrates my skin and makes me feel so refreshed and i genuinely feel like i'm on some beach or something whenever i apply this moisturizer it does a really really good job of hydration and also makeup sits really really well on top of this and it keeps my skin hydrated all day all night the next one is not gonna be a surprise this is the face shops white seed serum you guys have seen me talk about this recommend this all the time i've gone through so many i think i've gone through more than 10 bottles of it already and i love it two bits i give it a 10 out of 10 it literally makes my skin look i mean over the years that i've been applying this my skin texture has improved i have gotten a shade uh, lighter than what i was before like i am one shade fairer than what i was before and my skin has very less problems like i don't get too much acne anymore i only get acne when i'm in the that time of the month kind of period uh but other than that my skin is pretty damn clear and it's brightened it looks like i am awake so i absolutely love this serum and it's very lightweight since it's a serum it gets absorbed into the skin pretty well it does not make me feel sticky or weird anything of that sort so yeah highly recommended the next serum that i also tried was uh, the uh face shops pomegranate collagen uh volume lifting serum again this is a good serum um but i like the face shop one better because i feel like the texture is a little bit better than this one this one can get a little bit greasy so that's the reason i won't purchase this one but still it's really really good so i think for a dry skin type this one would be better uh and this one gets like a 8.5 out of 10 from me okay. we are pretty much to the end of it i have another hair care product this is the kiehl's smoothing infused oil infused leave-in concentrate with argan and babu baba su oils this is for dry and frizzy hair okay so i did purchase this is the second bottle that i have by the way and it lasts a very very long time like it lasts at least three months i took a really long time to get done with this because you just need a little bit of this okay this is a really really good serum to get rid of frizz and makes your hair look super shiny smooth and manageable you know and the best part is the smell that it has it has a beautiful smell to it i don't know what it is some people might not like it because it's strong but it has a very very sensuous smell to it i love sensuous smells and this smell is in my hair till the time i've washed it the next time that's how long lasting the smell on the serum is so if you don't like fragrances you might not like this but this is not a fragrance this is definitely the smell of the oil itself i suppose now this is a little bit expensive but i do not mind splurging on this because it's so good i am definitely gonna repurchase this one because it smells so good it makes my frizz manageable and it also or uh, makes my hair like shiny and all of the good stuff you know if you're looking for a good serum and you're willing to splurge definitely try the Kiehl's one it's 
Good. Okay, lastly, I have two perfumes that I've gotten done with. The first one is this one. This is the Calvin Klein's CK interview. This was one of my first purchases of perfumes. I remember like years ago and I had just gotten into perfumes. Like this was my first bottle, like I said. And this is a fresh fragrance. It has orange in it. It has sweet notes, but it is more of a fresh summery fragrance and i love it i love this fragrance there's no fragrance out there that smells like this it lasts its lasting power is really really long like once you spray it on yourself it is gonna last you 24 hours trust me and on clothes it still is gonna remain on your clothes till you wash it that's how long lasting this perfume is and it has a very good cdr cdr as in it emits too well like the person standing next to you is definitely gonna smell you and every time I have worn this perfume I definitely get compliments because it's such a fresh smelling fragrance and you know you get a very good vibe when you're around a fresh smelling person so definitely repurchasing this one I will give it a 9 out of 10 now the next fragrance that I'm gonna talk about I am so disappointed so disappointed because it like the version of this has changed this is the jiwon she is a play intense i got this again this is one of my like pehle ke ek do purchases of perfumes so this was like the second perfume that i purchased and this was expensive you guys this was hella expensive but i fell in love with the fragrance you can still smell it a little bit but the thing is, you still get this, but in a different packaging. Uh, they've changed the formula and all of that, and it does not smell the same as this one does. It, this one has more creamy or uh, sensuous smell. Now, trust me, amongst all the perfumes that I have, and I have a lot of perfumes, this is my top figure. This will definitely be on number one because of the way it smells that every time i used to smell this on me or my partner used to smell it on me he used to love it yeah i know i'm gonna talk about it sometime later not right now but yeah i love this fragrance it has this sexy smooth creamy sophisticated very sensual smell to it it is strong by the way it is a strong perfume but it is such a sexy perfume i love this perfume i wish i could get the older version i'm definitely gonna go ahead and try out the newer version that they've come out with but it is not the same it is a subtler version of this one so i skipped two products because they were lying under my leg but these are really important products that i want to mention to you Actually, one of them is really important. The other one is this one. This is the O3 Plus's Plunge Luminizing Black Mask. Okay, I did get done with it, but uh, I mean, it does a good job of cleaning my skin, making it look glowy, smooth, everything of that sort, but I still wasn't satisfied, you know. I have better masks than this that do a better job of cleaning and all of that, so I'm definitely not going to repurchase it. I'll give it like a 6.5 out of 10 because... It was just not that impressive. I feel that other O3 Plus masks are really good. Uh, the O3 Plus professional range is actually pretty good. There are a lot of good face masks in that range compared to this one. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, I have lip balm. This is the Laneige lip sleeping mask in cherry, cherry no berry. I got done with it. I've already repurchased it. It's a beautiful lip balm. Like. It keeps my lips hydrated all throughout the day and it is very very nice you know on the lips like it feels really nice on the lips there are some lip balms which do nothing actually uh, and there are some lip balms which feel too heavy but this one is very very good oh also it does not make my chips chips it does not make my lips chappy or anything of that sort my lips are always hydrated because of this I definitely give it a 10 out of 10 because it's a really really good lip balm so yeah those were all the products that i emptied that was a lot really for me also that was a lot <laughs> anyway it's time for me to go have lunch i'm gonna go now and i'll see y'all in my next video very soon until then bye